I'm reading from Answer to Job by C.G. Jung, paragraph 568 of the 50th anniversary edition. One would be even more astonished at Job's knowledge of God if this were the first time one were hearing of Yahweh's immorality, his incalculable moods and devastating attacks of wrath had, however, been known from time immemorial. He had proved himself to be a jealous defender of morality and was specially sensitive in regard to justice. Hence, he had always to be praised as just, which, it seemed, was very important to him. Thanks to this circumstance or peculiarity of his, he had a distinct personality which differed from that of a more or less archaic king only in scope. His jealous and irritable nature, prying mistrustfully into the faithless hearts of men and exploring their secret thoughts, compelled a personal relationship between himself and man, who could not help but feel personally called by him. That was the essential difference between Yahweh and the all-ruling Father Zeus, who in a benevolent and somewhat detached manner allowed the economy of the universe to roll along on its accustomed courses and punished only those who were disorderly. He did not moralize, but ruled purely instinctively. He did not demand anything more from human beings than the sacrifices due to him. He did not want to be anything with human beings because he had no plans for them. Father Zeus is certainly a figure, but not a personality. Yahweh, on the other hand, was interested in man. Human beings were a matter of first-rate importance to him. He needed them as they needed him, urgently and personally. Zeus, too, could throw thunderbolts about but only at hopelessly disorderly individuals. Against mankind as a whole, he had no objections. But then they did not interest him all that much. Yahweh, however, could get inordinately excited about man as a species and men as individuals if they did not behave as he desired or expected, without even considering that in his omnipotence he could easily have created something better than these bad earthenware pots.